Abby. Super excited to do this video with her, but I am so excited about these products that I wanna show you. So I actually have three stencils, but this video is just gonna be on these two. If at the end of the day, you're just really struggling with mapping, just start with stencils. I've developed like a foolproof system. Step one, this guy, let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so like I know a lot of people like the ones that are just straight and flat. This just has some little extra guides. I'll show you how we utilize this. There are only two things you need to keep in mind when placing your ruler. A, where the center line of their face is, and B, the apex of their arch. So first, visualize the highest point on their brow and place it level to that point. So the top line of the ruler is brushing that apex of their arch. Then move it left and right until you find the center of their face. That center tab should be sitting right centered in between their eyes, also taking their nose into consideration. You can easily lift it and adjust it as needed. And of course, stand right in front of them, look at it, have them turn left and right, make sure that it looks balanced and that you found that center line. I love these because of these extra tabs here. They have measure marks. So you can utilize these to make sure that even if you're using this for traditional mapping, that if this out exterior is coming to a one, the interior is also coming to a one or 1 1.5 or whatever the number is to make sure that your tails are not dipping lower than your centers. And of course, the measuring marks on your apexes of your arches will also help you maintain symmetry even if you're just freehand mapping. But today, we're gonna show you how to use these to make it foolproof with stencils. So these packs come with 10 currently, um, and within a few months, I'm gonna be expanding to 14. But these are the more petite shapes. There's so many shapes in here, guys, but the ones that I'm gonna sample on her are these four. And my gut is that this is gonna be her brow. You can see this is clear, so you line this up with this box. And if you want to move the centers outward a little bit, then pick like 1.5. So we're gonna move this over to the 1.5. And then we're just gonna line up the top dot and hold with two fingers on each side. And I'm using my Brow Tricks Precision Pen for this. These also come in white. And then you're gonna wanna press here. But literally, this couldn't be easier. It's kind of comical. Look at that, amazing. Yeah, this is your brow girl. So then you just flip this, line up the top dots, and we're gonna move over to that 1.5 like we did on the other side. And just always make sure that that top line is still lined up. And then peel it away. And then we're just gonna take this off and have her sit up and check this out. Yes, um, I used our to fill in her brows and actually show them a filled in look and then take your marker or whatever and trace around it for your outline. It's less scary than seeing it outlined. 